What do Facebook, Google, and Apple all have in common? They are all companies started by young entrepreneurs. So we decided to take a look at what young people are doing today. This is the story of two booming businesses started by two young women who are breaking all the rules. Lainey Lazari has never had the chance to work for anyone else because she started her business when she was 11. All I've ever done is work for myself. It would be really hard for me to get used to working for somebody else. Lainey Lazari's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania company, Simple Sugars, is also grappling with the challenges of a fast-growing business. Now 16 and five years into starting her all-natural sugar scrub company, Lazari has juggled her homework, crew practice, and running her business during her summers off and after school. It's really hard to balance everything. I get up at 6 in the morning, go to school, and then I generally don't get home until 7.30 at night. And I still have homework and Simple Sugar's work to do. With products already in her local Whole Foods and a thriving business online, the time has come for Lazari to relocate Simple Sugar's out of her parents' basement. Her next move is renting office space and hiring employees. Big steps for a teenager running a business in her spare time. It's starting to be too much volume for me to just handle by myself. I really need somebody who can come in and help me do things like pack up and ship out orders because right now I'm spending too much time working in my business and not enough time working on it. Ron Morris, professor of entrepreneurial studies at Duquesne University and host of the radio show An American Entrepreneur, says the novelty of Lazari's youth is what makes her business exciting. Without it, Simple Sugars would just be another cosmetics company. She has got to exploit her prime differentiator, which is her youth and her, her freshness. And I said to her, I said, Lanny, unfortunately, uh, two more years from now, you'll be 18 years old and you're just going to be another 18-year-old. I know that sounds uh, callous and, and uh, hard, but it's true because Lanny is the product, not the substance. In order to have her best shot at making Simple Sugars into a million-dollar company, Morris gave Lazari some surprising advice. I said, if, if I were you, I would drop out of school, okay, immediately, and spend the next year or two trying to push this company over the top. Because as I said to her, I said, right now, you've got one shot in 10 of hitting a home run. Each year that goes by, I think you can, uh, I think when she's 18, she's gonna have one shot in 100, and when she's 21, it's gonna be one shot in 10,000. And although it may seem to break all of the conventional rules to become a full-time entrepreneur and put high school on hold, that's what entrepreneurs do best, break the rules. I really want to take advantage of all my opportunities with Simple Sugars, but I also don't really want to completely give away my high school experience. But I really think that I have a lot that I can learn from taking a year off and just working on my business. That would be equally as valuable as what I could learn in a year at school. So was it worth it for Lainey to give up school? Did she make that decision? Well, we can find out because she is here today joining this week's board of directors. We just saw her in the piece, and thank you so much for coming on the program. So are you in school or no? Um, not completely. I'm actually taking a year of independent study this year. So my school has allowed me to complete the English and history courses on my own. So technically, I'm still a junior, and technically, I will still graduate this year, and I'll be able to go back next year. But you're waking up year. in the morning and running your business. I thought my yeah. life was busy when I saw yours. I was feeling like I was sleeping in the park. Yeah, it was, it was really crazy, and it <laughs> grew to the point where I kind of had to choose between continuing to grow my business or continuing with my high school education. So now, instead of um, spending my whole day at school and then trying to fit in my Simple Sugars work, I'm spending my whole day on Simple Sugars, and I'm trying to fit in my schoolwork.